What is up, everybody? This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. And those of you who know me already, and maybe can probably tell from my name and my presentation and my entire thing, um, I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I have been since I was a kid. The first video game I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis back in 93, I believe it was. I was uh, a young tyke of four years old at that point, and I've been playing Sonic games ever since. I'm always just amazed by the colors, the speed, the the entire thing, really. And today we're going to talk about that as we go through the newest Sonic compilation, Sonic Origins, uh, releasing today. And normally I'm not a huge fan of these Sonic compilations. We all know my thoughts on Sega re-releasing their games in general, especially Sonic games. I feel like Sega has basically lived off these four or five games for almost 30 years now. Granted, they have made some other good Sonic games in more recent years, but... Um, Sonic Origins kind of represents a return to the old 90s style, a reimagining of these games. You know, granted, a lot of these games have been re-released already, but um, what I find kind of cool is they have the kind of the mobile version of Sonic 2 in this collection with the Hidden Palace Zone, which I'm going to try to discover today. There's a lot of content in this that I'm actually really excited to check out. Some of it's not even like the main content. It's like the missions and some of the side stuff. So we're going to take a look at that as well. And actually, I'm pretty excited. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. Funny enough, on Twitch, I could not find Sonic Origins as a game to put as the category. So right now it just says Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know why Sonic Origins has been announced for a while. But anyway, let's see what we got here. So, I mean, like, right away, and I noticed this in the trailer, too, that th th what excited me about this wasn't that it was being made. It was just the actual presentation here is so true to the original games, these, like, awesome little animations. Because when they first, Sega first announced this, like, back in, like, May of last year, and it just kind of seemed very bare bones. It was like, okay, we're going to re-release a few Sonic games, and yeah, one of them is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, my favorite game of all time. Let's not ignore that, but... They first announced this, and it just seemed very, like, kind of lazy, but then I saw this, and, like, you know, these kind of cutscenes going through the history of the games, the actual stories of the games, because, yes, there are stories in the old Sonic games, they're not, like, the star of the show, but it's really cool that these cutscenes, like, you know, do the lore justice. So 
So, you know, I mean, I know what I'm going to get today. I mean, I've played these games a million times, but I'm still interested in seeing this. So that's pretty cool. See, see manual. Oh, all right. I have to go to... The, I thought I was going to, like, actually have the original game manuals from the games. That would be pretty cool. All right. So we're right in there. Mirror mode unlocked. <laughs> Yeah, so we got... I love the presentation here. I mean, I've already seen this in, like, previews and stuff, but, like, I do really like the way they represent, like, each game, the world it takes place in, these little motifs they have, Metal Sonic going around, you got Sonic jumping around. Very, very nice, very animated. Obviously, they didn't have to do this. Sonic 2, this is um, West Island, I believe. Again, got Robotnik up there. References to Chemical Plant. You got... Um, the, the bird jets from, uh, oh, of course, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the freaking goat. So, I obviously want to get to all these games in, in some capacity here today. Um, I'm actually interested in trying the story mode. That's probably where we're going to start, just because it is all four games or all five games in one. So, you play, like, Sonic 1 through Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Hey, what's going on, Big Mac? Thanks for tuning in today. Don't know if you're a big Sonic fan or not, but we're going to learn a few things about Sonic today. His history and other stuff. Heck, you know what? Well, let's see if, if there's anything in the museum already. I, I don't think there will be, but there might. Oh, they're okay. There's there's some concept art in there that you get just for starting the game. Now the other stuff you have to unlock by kind of playing the game. But that's a good advanced robot build. I'm actually probably going to read these later. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. They got the original. Um, this is actually the European box art, which you might remember, Big Mac, um, if you grew up with Sonic or even a Mega Drive. A big fan, but I like the Sonic franchise. I always love the artwork of the Sonic franchise, which we're seeing right here. So this is the Mega Drive artwork, which, as I mentioned, this is the European box art uh, when these games were released. I actually, I don't want to say I prefer it, but it is, like, very fun compared to the American box art, which I'm sure is also in here. Yep, that's the American box art. Uh, all right, so that's pretty cool. Oh, can I actually read the manual, or does it just... Um, Nah, I just, it's just the cover of the manual. And some of these things you have to unlock by doing different stuff. I'm just kind of exploring what's in here right now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and... I actually want to try the mission mode as well, but we're going to go ahead and try the story mode. A little tutorial there. So this adds animated cutscenes to the game. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry to hear that. Obviously, we all wish you a quick recovery. Guta Besserung. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure you'll be okay. Not to not to sound too lighthearted about it. But, you know, hopefully, you know, you're, you're young and, and healthy. And sorry that you caught COVID, though. Also, that was a really cool opening cutscene. All right, so here we go. This is the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Got the drop dash from Sonic Mania in here. That's good. I mean, some people, I mean, I've known some people who have had it. In fact, I'm actually surprised I haven't had it just because I, I go out, not a lot, but I, I work a lot, so I'm out in the public. But I've known a lot of people who've had it. Some of them were, like, I don't want to say fine, but they were okay other people had really bad symptoms so it seems to have hit everybody differently obviously we hope that you're on the best side of it oh, apparently i start with 100 coins already that's kind of funny all right let's try a special stage why not So what made you decide, or what, like, made you want to get a test? Like, because I know some people, like, feel symptoms and they get a test. Sometimes it just kind of comes up that way. Bit.
These are some pretty trippy special stages. Come on. Oh, don't, don't do that. Ah, oh, he did that. So I believe you can actually, yeah, you can retry them if you need to. Which is a feature that wasn't in the original games. Ah, well, I mean, it's never a good time, but... I assume you were going to take a trip or something. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, oh, he did it. I want to watch him in a fucking meeting or have a good stream. Ah. Oh, you can still, you know, you can check it out after the meeting. I'll probably be on a little while. I'm actually going to jump between games, so I'm playing Sonic 1 right now, but I'm not going to retry it this time. I'm going to jump between games, so I'm going to do some Sonic 1 right now, but then I'm going to do some Sonic 2, 3 and Knuckles, some missions. I want to I want to see everything that's in the game, because they added a lot of stuff. Um, I want to see what my coins can buy me. Maybe I can buy some goodies in the museum. Maybe I'll try the mirror mode. Who knows? Sky's the limit. I do like that they added the drop dash to Sonic 1, though. I also just noticed you can only play as Sonic in the story mode. Because I know in the remasters of these games, you can play as Tails and Knuckles in Sonic 1. Ah, uh, you only get one coin for that? I thought you were going to get, like, a bunch of coins for breaking that. Ah, uh, well. I know there was always a glitch here in the original where if you, like, hit those spikes, it was, like, instant death, even if you had rings. Come on, a ticket for a metal festival. Postpone twice. And... Ah, that sucks. That really does suck. I, I hope you can at least get, like, a refund for the tickets, although I don't know how that works. A meeting ends at 11. Well, I, oh, I, 11's only an hour. I keep thinking it's 9 o'clock. I'll still be on. 11's only like an hour from now. Well, let's try this again. I assume there's only six Chaos Emeralds like in the original Sonic 1. Although I've seen people use Super Sonic in Sonic 1, so I don't know how that... Well, I gotta retry that. That was way too stupid. Uh, coins needed, yeah. I mean, it's only one coin. I got 104 coins. I could attempt this 100 times if I wanted to. I also don't really want to. God damn it. When did I get so bad at these? Are you going to play Snulf today? I don't know what that is. But maybe. Might play some Snulf. I, I honestly don't know what that is. Sonic never oscillated like Fred. I have no idea what that is. Ah, I'm getting dizzy. Getting dizzy. Got it. Look at that shiny Chaos Emerald. I got three coins for passing it. It's the same as I got for failing it. Fan made on Sonic 2. Sonic is the golf ball. What? Ah, people make some weird mods. I mean, if I, I guess if I had access to it, I might. Actually, I don't know if I even would then. I believe there's another invincibility box in this tree. Yep. Come 
So I've seen this before, how they modified this boss. Not modified, but because it's widescreen, like usually these platforms were a little closer together. It actually makes this boss a little bit harder. Because his um, Wrecking Ball has a higher, like, arcing, whatever. But you can also just hide in the corner now. So you're at AGDQ. You, you guys love your acronyms, huh? Like, what, what is all this stuff? Why, oh, I get it. Snolf, like golf, I get it. I thought it was like an abbreviation for something. AGDQ. Atlas gotta disqualify. I don't know. Awesome games done. Oh, I have heard of that. Okay, yeah, that one I've heard of. All right, we'll do a little marble zone. But... I'm not a huge fan of this level, actually, but I'm going to just power through it for now. I'm actually not a huge fan of Sonic 1, like the original Sonic game. It, it, it does look really nice. I like what they did with the graphics here. Love them graphics. Yeah, if we play long enough, we'll get to Rem's favorite game, Sonic CD. Well, I'll probably play that later anyway. You don't have to do the story mode. I'm just, like, kind of kicking off with it. Did I mention I'm not a big fan of this level? It's like Sonic 1 has this weird thing where it's like every other level is decent. Like, Green Hill's pretty good. Spring Yard Zone's pretty good, which is level 3. This level's not that great. And then, like, like level 2, 4, and 6 are not that great. It's like they, they couldn't have two good levels in a row or something like that. Here, the game's done quick speed run and prizes, and most importantly, money. Oh, that's pretty cool. The charity part. I always love... I, I think I knew that they did stuff for charity, but that, that's always cool. Video games can bring uh, some, some benefit to the world other than being joyful diversions. Okay, what am I doing? Come here, you. Come here, shiny gem. Oh, don't do, don't do that. Don't go there. Go somewhere else, but don't go there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back here, you. So the controls are a little bit better here than they were in the original. I do feel like I can kind of... You know, still was never a huge fan of these special stages, but... It's a good thing you don't get scored on time for these. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down that. I don't know where the middle is. Oh, so close. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, and I'm still not there. I'm trying to get that gem in the middle of the stage, and like it keeps tilting. And I have to destroy these blocks to get to it. And nothing ever seems to go right here. And I'm trying not to land in the red spots. Oh, for the love of God. I've never taken this long on this one. This is actually a fairly easy one compared to some of them. God damn it. Oh my god, it's right there! It's right there! I pretty much exposed the entire thing. I could have accidentally gotten it at this point. Come on! The objective is not to do what I'm doing right now. Go, go, oh my god. Got it. God damn it, that was way too much. That needed to not happen. If I had failed that, I don't even think I would have retried. Because that's like how annoyed I am with it right now. I would have just like accepted it. Holy crap, how long did that take? Watch out. I don't like this stage, but I do like the music. that is not getting through to the viewer. What do you mean? Is my is my friggin' audio off or something? Let me see. You don't uh don't clown me like that. The game is ultra low, can barely hear anything. Alright, hold on. Oh it is kinda low. Alright, how about now? Wow, as I hit that spike. Like a freaking boss. There we go. I was gonna say, I don't know why some games like are just like that, where... It's like, not even a... Oh, that's gonna... Yep, that's gonna happen. Some games are just like that. Like, even though it's on the Switch, like, other Switch games are, like, too loud, so that's probably why I had that like that. But, um, yeah, now the next game I put in is going to be, like, ultra loud or something. I actually forgot that that did that. What the heck? Oh, all right. See, this game's a little more tolerable with the extra moves you can use in this. I was going to say, I'm going right in the lava there. I don't see any way to avoid it. Damn it.
Have you seen either of the uh, Sonic movies? Those are pretty good. I actually just watched Sonic 2 the other day. Again. I've seen the first. I'll, I highly recommend the second, especially if you have some time to kill. It was okay. Well, I mean, I like the first one. Actually, some of my friends like it more than I did, but... Uh, I think the second one is, like, much better, especially since it, like, really follows the stories of the game better. Because as I've said before, yes, there are stories. They're not, like, amazing stories, but they're stories. Much roller coaster tire... Uh, I don't know how you like the second one then, but yeah, that, that, that was the case in the first one. So, well, again, that, that is Sonic. That, that do be Sonic. Even in his games. Yeah, there were parts of the first Sonic movie I was watching it, and I'm like, is this even a Sonic movie? Like, I was just watching, like, this guy and his wife talking about getting a new job, and I'm like, what does this have to do with Sonic? You know, the reason I saw the movie? Like, where, where's that guy? Auto save goes on for literally like anything I do. If I get a shield, if I hit a checkpoint, the little auto save icon comes on on the bottom. Like, gotta save that. That was close. Like Sonic One is just okay. Like I, I like this game, but playing this, particularly this level, doesn't really do justice to like the other Sonic games. Like, like there's so much more personality and fun in those other games. But like, this game is decent, but it just kind of feels like any other platformer, just with Sonic in it. Like this, like generic castle level could have been in anything. Hopefully, when you say drinking, you mean like water and not, not, not beer. Not that I'm judging. Fuck. Ah, oh, how far down did I just fall there? Far enough, apparently. Okay, tea. Well, tea is healthy. That's what I've heard. I, I like tea. I like iced tea. I like warm tea. All the tea.
Actually, that's new. I actually don't remember that bridge there before. That's it. Yeah, that's what I've heard anyway. Oh, why the hell did I do that? Got him. Alright, that's enough Sonic uh, 1 for now. I'd be remiss if I didn't play the first game I ever played, which was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis. That's pretty cool. It tells you where he left off. Uh, let's see. Wait, what do they have for music? The title screen, all that good stuff. The character swap. Oh, all right, it doesn't really do anything else. There was adventure under night. I mean, that that is a great game. I don't know if I'd say the best ever, but it is a great game. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they got, like, remixes here. Now, is there a way to get these to play in the game, I wonder, though? Add to playlist. All right, I'll add to a playlist. We got any new illustrations I can get. Wait a minute. One to thirty two. See, it keeps making me think I can like read the manual. Oh, wait, you can. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Sweet. You can read the freaking manual. I don't know why that's so exciting to me, but it is. What did the uh, what did the European manual look like? Oh, this is the Japanese manual. Probably not going to be able to read this. Nope, not going to be able to read this. Uh, where's the European one? Well, that's for Sonic CD. Uh, Sonic 3 European. Uh, I cannot read that. No. Oh, it's in like every language, including German. Halten Sie nicht zu nah und Bildschirm off. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this. Oh, let's see what I can unlock for Sonic illustrations. Unlock. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you have to actually do stuff in the games to unlock some of these. I don't know why that's cool, but. Kind of is. I kind of enjoy that you can read the manuals in different, like, settings as well. Sonic 3D Blast box art. Oh, that's the Mega Drive box art there. Yeah, I'm kind of a geek about this kind of stuff. Sure, I just want to see what this is. Oh, I do remember these. These were, like, in old magazines in the 90s. Oh, these were really cool. I also feel like I have no business having this many coins. Ah, oh, Sonic going shopping in what appears to be a French village. Ah, oh, Sonic Drift. That takes me back. That racing game that, like, nobody played, except for me.
Oh, that's really hard to read, actually. That's cool, though. All right, let's get back to the action here. Sonic 2 Anniversary Mode. Oh, sweet. There's actually like a cutscene to open the game. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, not that Tails is getting teased, but this is actually the origin story of how Sonic meets Tails. That's pretty legit. Needless to say, that was not in the original game. That's pretty neat. Alright, so we can play... Let's do Sonic and Tails, the classic duo. Ah, here we go. This takes me back. Still, it's really cool playing this with the drop dash. It just adds a little something. This is not my favorite Sonic game, though. That would be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which we're going to check out as well. <laughs> and then if Rem shows up, we'll take a look at CD. And I'm honestly not going to push for that. Yeah, you can tell I've played these games a time or two. Kind of know my way around a little bit, maybe. I will be interested to try the special... Yeah, wow, that was a messy sentence. I will be interested to try the special stages here, because I, I know they kind of, like, remastered them. So they, like, are going to look a little better. In fact, let's find out right now. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. The original game on Genesis, like, you kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this isn't, like... 4K or anything, but, like, it's a lot easier to play it this way with the scrolling like this. I mean, they did their darndest on the original hardware to make it look 3D, but you, you know how, like, playing, like, original Mario Kart on uh, Super Nintendo, you know how, like, glitchy and jumpy it could be? That's, like, kind of how this was in the original version. Yeah, this looks a lot better. I mean, it's still fundamentally the same thing. And this one's really easy, because it's the first one. I actually wouldn't mind doing the mirror mode, either. Ah, so many options, that's what I mean. Like, I'm not going to be able to stay on one thing for long, because I, I want to take a look at everything this has to offer. Like, you know, I could just sit here and play through one of the games, and probably beat it in, like, a couple hours, but... I've already done that a million times. I want to see, like, some of the different things this collection has to offer. I also purposely got this on the Switch, because this is going to be great to play in a portable format. Chaos Emerald. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The game is quiet again? Well, there's not much, like, really going on right now. I was gonna say, like, that was just kind of the end of- the special stage music was always a little bit quiet. Oh, that's kind of cool! You're, you actually keep your rings after the special stage? That's pretty good. That's a nice touch.
Ah, I love this boss music. Always love this boss music. I don't know. I mean, I can turn the game up a little bit more, but it's already up pretty high. Oh, that's kind of cool. That tire never used to bounce, like, onto the next screen. It used to kind of just glitch away like old games usually would. Like, when you broke Robotnik's machine, his, his tire would just kind of blink out. Like, it actually bounced all the way into the other side of the screen. That's pretty cool. Alright, there's a lot going. Pretty high on your end means not enough. Right, I mean, I can go higher. But it's at the same volume it was for Sonic 1, and you said you could hear that, so... Let's try it now. You definitely want to hear this song. I love this music right here. Ah, they took... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, there, there was stuff over here in the original. Just waiting for like the next year to show up and be like, this is way too loud. I've never gone this high on the Elgato before, in terms of the audio. How are you doing the thing for game sound on OBS? Um, very carefully. It's um, running through the Elgato. Um, I mean, it's the same setup I've had for all my screens, really. The uh, game capture is up to, like, negative 13.8. It's, like, metering into the yellow now. I also don't want it too loud, or you won't be able to hear me, but... Usually I have it at, like, minus 20, but I've, I've turned it up considerably. For me, anyway. It's actually pretty easy to get these coins. I'm sure you just don't have your computer volume way down or something. But they just spam you with these coins. share my desktop audio and set this to the desktop. Well, I wouldn't do my desktop audio. I'm not hearing the game through my headphones. I'm hearing it through my TV. That's... My, my desktop audio wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't hear the game. In fact, you'd probably just hear the echo of me talking if I did that. that otherwise I uh, hadn't thought about that. Whoa, okay, there we go. I'll show you later if you want. Maybe you should, because I'm not, uh, not very tech-savvy, for those of you who haven't noticed. As it is, if I tweak, like, one setting, it seems to throw off the entire stream, so it's like... I'm, like, nervous to even touch anything these days. I will say, so far, this is the highlight of the collection, is that these special stages look a lot better. Well, I have desktop audio, but right now my desktop audio is like... I don't know what it's set to. Watch out.
Ah, Tails. Actually, I think that was me. That was Tails. God damn it, Tails. Not mine. Right. That was me. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose because of Tails. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retry that. Because I don't have to, but... Going to. Oh, that's a good idea. You have my Discord? I am on Discord. Uh, uh, Chaos Blur. Damn it, I, for I just forgot the number, but I am on Discord. Yeah, I actually have my own server that I almost never use, but I have it. Exclamation point Discord. God damn it again. Only, ah, this is only the second freaking special stage. Come on, man. Uh, I did like even worse that time. Exclamation point Discord. God damn it again. Patrick, you're fired again. Yeah, I'm not going to retry it. I mean, I will retry it eventually, but... I want to enjoy the game for the time being. I don't have it. You don't have Discord or you don't have an exclamation point? If you have an exclamation point, it's right there. Yeah, I didn't think you did. Uh, I, I, I want to say my number is 7857, but I don't 100% know. This boss is a little different. I feel like they actually dumbed down some of these, because, no. Well, I've also played this game so many times that I probably just know everything about these bosses. There's also a boss rush mode, actually. <laughs> try that out. There's a lot of stuff I want to try out. Tails is still friggin' jumping. I do enjoy Aquatic Ruin Zone Act 1. I wonder where Rem is today. If she was here, I'd play some Sonic CD. I mean, I'll probably check it out anyway, but... Not really something I would check out on my own. I sent it to hopefully you. If it's a picture of me, and you know what I look like, if it's a picture of me, then that's the right one. Ah. Oh. Whee! Yep, that's you. Yeah, there's no mistaking me. I don't know why I cannot change the stream description to Sonic Origins. It is what it is, I guess. Let me try it again. Sonic Origins. No, there's no Sonic Origins. That's really weird. I'm going to at least change it to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, since that's what I'm playing right now. Even though I should be able to just change it to Sonic Origins.
All right, let's update that. Get back into the game here. Oh. Oh. The heck? Floating ring boxes. I almost never took this route. Hate water. Parts. Always got hit by those things. God damn it again. God damn it again. I was gonna say, I don't think I hit a checkpoint that entire level, and sure enough, I didn't. Alright, well, there's my first death of this particular playthrough. Damn, that's exactly where I ended up last time. Whoops. Drowned. God damn it again. God damn it again. Ew. 
Ah, tails. He hit my animal capsule, man. That was mine. That was mine for the taking. That was mine for the fight. Hey, -o. I do enjoy this level. Whoa, that was close. Uh, I always used to love doing this. Just kind of like stand here and let this thing push you to the edge. Yep, still kept it in there with how the animation stays even though you're going down the slope. Alright, I'm back. Ah. If I can try my luck in the slot machine here. Ooh, ah. Uh. Tails just stuck in there. Come on, Tails. Oh, no, not Robotnik. Ah. Uh. Just stuck in there, like whatever. Get in there. There you go. Oh, heaven. Actually, like almost never taken this route. Now I can see why. Yeah, sorry. If you, if you had a headache, this is not going to make it any better. I know where I am now. 
Like, I've been to these levels so many times, I just, like, memorize them. It's like going to a familiar place. I'm like, I know where I am. Just take a couple of left turns here, and I'll be back home in no time. My meeting wrapped up early. There you go. Welcome back, Toaster. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. I know I myself enjoy a good chunking. Mm, I do enjoy a good chunk. It really does have cutscenes. In fact, you missed the opening cutscene to Sonic 2, which I might play again. It was really good. Am I really one ring? I really am one ring short. God damn it. But yeah, it does have cutscenes. I got word about it. Oh, damn it. Sorry to hear that. Everybody's getting bad news. Big Mac Yup has COVID. And, well, that's actually that's what I got. Oh, see, that time I didn't keep my rings. That's kind of weird. Maybe because I didn't... Maybe I have to beat it to... Keep... No, because there was another time I failed it and I kept my rings. Yeah, I don't get that one. That's inconsistent. Granted, in the original, you didn't keep your rings either. How many cutscenes are involved in this? From what I understand, I think it's only like in the beginning and the end of each game, but there could be more. There's also an intro for the entire game. But like, I started the story mode just to try it, and there's like a cutscene to open that too. Well, here, we're gonna check out the museum right after this, actually. But yeah, the cutscenes are pretty cool, I gotta say. Presentation's easily my favorite part of this collection. Uh, let me see. So yeah, like, this is the Sonic 2, uh, intro. So, I mean, they're not long, but they're just like little openings and stuff. Yeah, the, the Sonic 1 intro, kind of the same thing. Well, as soon as I'm on Discord again, I will go ahead and do that. Oh, they also have the uh, Sonic Mania Adventure series, which was like a six-episode mini-series from YouTube. And I assume the other ones will be unlocked. Actually, I want to buy some stuff. Nice, I'll be right back. You really will be. What do we have in the old illustrations collection here? 
Get the jackpot. Oh, see, that's pretty cool that you, like, unlock them by doing some random stuff. Win a race against Metal Sonic. Collect three types of shields in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Glide as Knuckles, so I think I'll be able to do that. Defeat ten Moto Bugs in Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm not going to remember, like, any of this, by the way. You can also read the original manuals. Which, I mean, that was a thing in the, um... Sonic Mega Collection as well. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna buy these. Like, I'm not really gonna... I'm not buying them. I'm spending fake money. But you know what I'm saying. Hey, you. Hey, that's me. It's pretty easy to get coins, so I'm not too worried about spending coins right now. I might try the mirror mode, too. I might try all of it. We'll see. But right now, I gotta play the GOAT. Sonic 3 and Knuckles Anniversary Mode. I was gonna say, this is also gonna have a cutscene. Uh, so this is after the end of Sonic 2, that's pretty cool. Actually, all the setup you really need for that story. Ah, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, that's cool. They even have all the uh, save files, even though technically you could just, like, save in the game. Hey, what's going on, Rem? I was going to say, I'm going to wait to play Sonic CD until you showed up, but there you are. But right now, we got to play the GOAT. we got to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Let's do it. Oh, that's cool. It added the sound effect of Super Sonic. Hey, what's going on, Randy? We are here wishing Sonic a very happy 31st birthday. Gee, Sonic's almost catching up to me in age. I haven't played CD yet, no. All right, here we go. Oh, that's cool. So they have the Insta Shield and the Drop Dash. I was wondering how they were going to handle that. Oh, this is pretty cool. Happy birthday, Sonic. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates it. I'll uh, send him a cake. Oh, this is great. I love Sonic 3 and Knuckles, though. I mean, I could play this one game by myself. Like, all day. All day! Which is a Blue Sphere stage right through here. See, I don't know if they remastered these at all. Uh, these look about the same. I don't know. The, the Half-Pipe stages, I have to say, they did a really good job remastering those. Happy birthday, Sanic. Yeah, imagine that if his birthday cake said the wrong name on it. But it's Sanic. Sarg Narg the Blarg Narg. I wonder if Jeffichu is going to show up. He's one of my uh, best friends who's also a Sonic fan. I'm going to show my best friend. Oh, damn it. I'm going to show my best friend uh, Jeffichu off to everyone in town wearing a salmon. Oh, that fucking sucks. This had me before. You've had your best friend wear a salmon suit? I'm going to retry that one. Normally I wouldn't, but why not? Ah, oh, damn it again. We use the letter pieces. P, copy. I do enjoy copy. Nah, we're not going to retry this one. Let's go try it out. I do enjoy running out of the letter pieces and then doing whatever else you said. Copy. Yeah. 
Now it's like how you would say cope. How, why would copy sound like cope? Well, that's different. Copy. Oh, I see. Copy. Uh, copy said it. That was a little different. I've noticed a couple subtle differences in some of the level design in this. Not much, but a little bit. Say the one up's not gonna give me a one up, it's just gonna give me more coins because there's no lives in this mode. NBA draft is it? Oh wow. Wonder if the Celtics will make any moves. I know they're they're not picking high in the draft, obviously, since they made the finals, but oh, there we go. So we still doing I mean, yeah, I wanted to do it the other day, but I'm working the next couple days. I do enjoy Michael's uh dairy. Yeah, we'll see. Right there. Really? Really? Why can't I? That's a glitch. Hello? Magical ring? <laughs> what the frick? Okay, there we go. You all saw that, right? Like, I should have been able to go in that. Oh, I, I just noticed that, like Sonic Mania, they tell you how many rings you have to get instead of having the ring counter go up. That's alright, I guess. I'm not a huge Blue Spheres guy. I know there's actually a separate mode in this just to play Blue Spheres. I just never got into it, other than to get the Chaos Emeralds. It's not the worst special stage. I actually think the Sonic Mania special stages are my favorite. To yeah, Toaster is, like, here. I think he went to do something, but he's, he's there. He had a meeting earlier. Oh, damn it. Why am I so bad at these today? I failed so many special stages. Let's try this again. I have enough for, like, 65 extra attempts here if I need them. But I'm not going to need them. I'm missing about 64 blue spheres, is what I'm missing. What the frick? Did they forget to put them in? There we go. Fail. I mean, I haven't failed yet. I mean, I did fail before. Did you see earlier when I was trying to get in the ring and it wouldn't let me? that up. Got him. No, I was all pretending I had a purpose. Strange enough, I learned from headphones. Yeah, loud. Now my headphones. Well, that's what I mean. I, I've never really had the game volume up this high, so it should, it's probably going to be louder than it probably should be, to be honest, but... I was pretending I had a purpose. That's what I do at my job all the time. Well, at least at Staples. It is not louder than it should be. All right, good. As long as it's not louder than it should be. Now, can I still do the drop dash while I have a shield? Probably not. But that, then again, that was the case in Mania, too.
course, that sound effect's a little different. You put me with fucking meetings today, that's really weird. Oh, so you had a meeting at 11, or no, you had a meeting at 10, and then you have a meeting at 2? Well, I guess they really have a lot to talk about. Hey, oh. There's at least one more special stage I can get to, like, from right here. I do want to check out the missions, too, because the missions are actually, like, new content, in a way. Seventeen, you can put nothing. That's what I used to do at Staples meetings. Even they got kind of, like, wise to it and just stopped having them because they were just paying people to sit there. It's like they were losing money. Which, I mean, I guess I didn't care except I had to wake up early for them. And actually drive to work on a Saturday of all times. Got him. I do enjoy do 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 Otherwise known as the Chaos Emerald music. Ooh, more coins. Chaos Emerald is mine. Yes, that is very true. Well, actually, I think that's my subscriber sound. Uh, my follower sound is the ring sound effect. I do love this game. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's right. This is the part you can only get to as tails. Yeah, they did add the drop dash to all the games. It's pretty cool. Because of real life. Well, I mean, ironically, now you do have some time for streaming. No rush. I mean, the most important thing is to improve your health, and you know, your personality is always your best asset in any situation when it comes to streaming. It's, trust me, I ain't getting by on my technology here. That's for damn sure. Uh, Sonic 3 does not use the Michael Jackson tracks. Um, unfortunately, it, I'm probably not going to make it to Carnival Night today, but Carnival Night and Ice Cap both had the music changed. I, or, I've already heard that. I've also heard the new tracks, and they're not very good. It's not very good. It's just not good. I've heard it. I mean, it's probably not bad, but I'm just so used to hearing the other ones that I just I can't hear the new ones. I think they changed it to actual prototype music from Sonic 3, so I think it's like what the songs were going to be if Michael Jackson didn't do them. But they're just not, they're not good.
Yeah, no, they're not in the game. That, that was confirmed, like, about a week or two ago. It's, like, three levels. Um, Carnival, Carnival Night, Ice Cap, and Launch Base don't have their music. Oh, Robotnik doing that little laugh was different. There are little, like, subtle tweaks in this game, I've noticed. Nothing, like, major, but still kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, like, Robotnik, when he just poofed in there, he did, like, a little evil laugh, kind of like in Mania. Rem is dying to see some Sonic CD. But I'm gonna play a little Hydrosity first. I'm annoyed. Yeah, you'll be even more annoyed when you hear the music. I might be able to try it in the sound test later. Just so you can hear it. It's pretty bad. I don't think they really had a choice. I think Michael Jackson's estate wouldn't let them have the music. Granted, they're Sega. I'm sure they could have paid to it. I want to go to a carnival. <laughs> I caught you in the mood, huh, with uh, that Carnival Night talk. I actually thought more of the music was Michael Jackson. I didn't realize it was only those three songs. Because I always thought, like, this was Michael Jackson, but this isn't. Because I love this song. I mean, maybe in a future update they'll put it back in. I have no idea. It's in, yeah, I know it is. Some people are more mad about this than I am. Like, I'm not happy about it, but I just kind of know it's just part of how it goes. That's part of the reason why these games are, why Sonic 3 is, like, never remastered. You notice they always re-release Sonic 1 and 2, and very rarely 3. This is, like, the first re-release of Sonic 3 and Knuckles in quite some time. And it's the first one to be full screen like this. Okay, air bubble. I can't return it. It's a digital download. I demand you don't even pay for it. No, in all, in all honesty, besides that, it really is a pretty good collection. Like, it, 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 other than having the original games, it just has a lot of really cool presentation stuff. Oh, you bought it? I didn't know that. Ah. I own it. All right, well, that was quick. I mean, it's still the same game. I mean, I'm not compensating you for a game you bought. That I also bought. Hey, -o. hey, we're here to enjoy the birthday of one Sonic the Hedgehog, turning 31 today, the big 3-1 as it were. Oh, you really are online playing Sonic Origins, that's really kind of funny. You're just gonna, like, speedrun your way to Carnival Night. Actually, there is a level select cheat if you want to just jump to it. I forget what it is, but you can find it online. It's, there's, like, specific level select cheats for these games that weren't in the original. I really, I mean, I, I believed you anyway, but now I really believe you. That freaking blue shark reminds me of the Toy Story shark. I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. You see where Sega's coming out with like a new kind of like multiplayer first person shooter thing? I don't know if they're trying to be Fortnite or Apex or what, but it's called Hyenas. 
looks all right. I mean, it's something different. Like I always say, Sega's got to try some new stuff, so that's good for them. Yeah, he is. That that I knew. That's why I'm, like, optimistic about the story. Like, everything I'm hearing about it is that it's going to be, like, a really good, like, serious story, so... Like, I actually... There are reasons to be excited for Frontiers. I know everybody wants to focus on, like, oh, it looked like a tech demo, and oh, there wasn't enough stuff to do, but there's actually stuff in Frontiers that, like, is interesting. Like, I'm not saying it's going to be great, but at the very least, I think it's going to be worth playing. I think it's going to have probably the best story since Unleashed, which... Didn't have an amazing story, but at least it had a story. And I think, you know, there's going to be character development. He's already mentioned that, like, Robotnik, Tails, and Amy are all in the story, which, I mean, we kind of figured they would be, but it's still kind of cool that they're confirmed. And so who knows who else might be in the story. I know Knuckles was kind of teased in a prologue. So I think it's going to make good use of the other characters. Whether or not they're playable, I kind of doubt they're playable, but... I think, this, I think the game's going to be better than people think. I think Sega actually is hiding some stuff that might make the game even better. I've always stood by that, as much as I think they did a terrible job marketing the game from the beginning. I want to see if Robotnik does a little laugh this time. He really does! That That is different. That is not in the original game. How he looks at the camera and laughs like that. Everybody wants Amy in, like, they wanted Amy in Mania, they wanted Amy in the classic games. Like, what would she do? It would just be, like, the same moveset as Sonic. Like, she's in Sonic Advance, and she's actually, like, my least favorite character to play as. That's because they gave her the hammer. I keep forgetting I can cheese that boss by just doing that. I am happy it's summer. Yeah, it really, like, this year's been really weird. It started kind of slow. Really, I mean, I don't know. Stop holding back and make Amy a better character. We are... Amy is what she is. I think she'll have a bigger role in frontiers. I mean, really, none of the support characters of Sonic have done anything in a long time. Like, besides, like, SA2. Fuck it, make Blaze a playable character. I mean, they could. She does just play like Sonic. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the museum real quick. And then we will... See, so, yeah, let me... I want to see if I can actually show the music here. See if we can hear the music they're using currently for Carnival Night. Alright. Yeah, so this is the music for Ice Cap. This is pretty terrible. Then we have Carnival Night. I mean, they've made a 2D Sonic game. Yeah, this 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 music sounds like freaking Game Gear music. Like, I, I think it was it was literally prototype music, and they didn't really do much to polish it up. But no, they there's been fan hacks like that. Like, I think there's a Sonic One Mega Mix where you can play as like Scourge and freaking like Shadow, Knuckles, like everybody. And like, she's in Sonic. I do enjoy Sonic Robo Blast too. But anyway, we're uh, that was just me checking things out. Let's see if there's any more illustrations I can unlock here. I do enjoy these illustrations. It's also pretty cool how you can look at the manuals. Like, you can actually go into, like, the Sonic, uh, Sonic 1 manual, you can read it. I mean, I, I know you can do that in Mega Collection, too, but... Alright, let's get this going for Rem here. I think I'm thinking about doing the mirror mode. You know what, I'm gonna do the mirror mode at Sonic CD. Why not? Why? I have no idea. Okay, so they got his super peel out. So this is actually a new cutscene.
That's Amy. That's Amy from Sonic CD. I'm gonna say, then they have a. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought they had the original opening too. What's an extras? I do enjoy OG Amy. Rosie the Rascal? I mean, that's the evil version. Oh, that's right. I'm in mirror mode. I keep forgetting that. Oh, here's the original opening. I was going to say, I knew they had the original opening still in this. Yeah, it's a nice little song. Can reach the other side of the road. They totally copied Sonic CD, I mean, a little bit. I mean, yeah, this is like one of the first, in fact, this might be the first, like, full vocal Sonic theme there ever was. Like, later, all the Sonic themes would be like these rock songs, but this was, like, fairly new at the time. This game came out in 93, I believe. Funny, because this game came out, I think, after Sonic 2, but, like, chronologically, it takes place before Sonic 2, because, I don't know, at least in the story mode, that's how they do it. It goes Sonic 1, CD, then 2. It was. It was developed at the same time, but I think it came out after. Like, the Sonic 2 came out at the end of 92, and then Sonic uh, CD, I think, came out at the beginning of 93. Well, because Sonic CD plays more like Sonic 1. I do enjoy Sonic 2, today. Like, the original Sonic CD played a lot more like Sonic 1. It didn't have some of the moves of Sonic 2. It did have a spin dash, but it wasn't the same, and then they had the super peel out. Which, actually, I think is just alright. All right, so this is in mirror mode, so keep that in mind. We going backwards. And yes, we have the drop dash. Your stream's fucking up. It sure is. Hold on one second. I just saw that. Yeah, that's actually not the... Um, I mean, it's lagging on the... What do you call it, Elgato? Let me just uh, see if I can fix that. This isn't the first time it's done that either. It always does this on the Switch if it does it at all. Like, it doesn't matter what game I'm playing on Switch, it just seems to do it on Switch. Let me go ahead and pull some stuff out here. Bear with me, this might be a minute. In the meantime, we can talk about all our favorite Sonic memories. Oh, that was loud. Ah, oh, that felt good. Oh, I got picture on my screen, but I doubt it's going to load yet. It really is not going to load yet. Oh, gotta love technology, am I right? My friend's Elgato fucks up some too sometimes. Hey, yeah, it's really the Switch thing. I remember when I was doing the new Mario Kart tracks, and it was like just getting glitchy like that. Let me see. Might have to like deactivate, reactivate, something like that. Fuck, so I'm glad you corrected fucks to fucks. Uh, let's see. Fox. <laughs> I mean, all right. I should show Fox. Foxy. All right. I have very little. You really do have very little of them, if any at all. All right. I'm going to have to just try a very quick deactivate, reactivate. Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Well, I know I did not. Let me do it now. I really am not restarting the stream. Not at this point. Closer to the end than the beginning. Like, as I expected, this is going by really fast, because, like, I was actually really lo looking forward to this. Oh, God, now it's, like...